So not only does Ethereum have a major upgrade happening this month in September, so does Cardano. Cardano, a big competitor or rival to Ethereum. Uh, personally, I own both of them in my portfolio. I think there's room for both of them to have uh, huge success in the future. Cardano currently in the top 10 along with Ethereum, both working in the smart contract space, both going through enormous upgrades this month. Of course, the Ethereum merge set to happen this week, but then a week later, we've got a huge upgrade happening with Cardano. And I wanted to jump in and talk a little bit more about the Vassal hard fork, what it means, what the Cardano development team uh, is sharing with us in terms of Vassal's capability when it's actually ready to be rolled out. Uh, we've been waiting for this one for quite some time, like we've been waiting for the Ethereum merge uh, as well. So finally, it's coming here. You know, September is historically not so good for crypto, uh, but so far so good. Bitcoin is up uh, significantly here in September, uh, you know, just uh, from you know the start of the month as is Ethereum and Cardano. And maybe that's because we have a lot of these positive catalysts lining up for us here. Of course, we're still you know, dealing with macroeconomic factors that are keeping our overall markets at bay right now. But uh, crypto, I see it as you know, a market that is still, still, still very, very early, right? So I always say, you know, when in doubt, zoom out a little bit, right? Because yeah, we're in a bear market here in 2022. But what if I told you that we're three to five years early than or earlier than many, many folks, right? Including institutional investors. And, uh, you know, I'm not the only person who shares that opinion. And I, I think it's, it's important that we have to keep that mindset, right? Because it's really easy to let your emotions get the best of you in a bear market, right? And sell when you shouldn't sell, get out and say, this isn't for me. And then you look up three years later and say, oh my gosh, I used to have that Bitcoin. Oh my gosh, I used to have Cardano, right? Uh, we've probably all been there or thought about it. Um, so that's what I've got, um, you know, on that front. Let's jump into this particular article, though. By the way, um, my name's Zach. I'm one of the many crypto content creators here on the Clear Cryptos YouTube channel. All the links to Clear Cryptos are down below. They just released their advisory board. The token is getting very close to being released. Um, super, super excited. Uh, I've not seen anything like this, okay, in my couple years covering crypto uh, on YouTube. It's unbelievable. So check out the board of advisors on clearcryptos.com and uh, stay locked in to what they've got for you. Part of their mission is to bring you educational content like this. So I want to jump into this article here and talk a little bit about this particular Vassal hard fork upgrade. So if we scroll on down here, Cardano developer Input Output has confirmed the expected launch of the Vassal upgrade to be September 22nd about a week after the Ethereum merge, which uh, I think the timing of this is is really smart, right? Because many people are excited about the Ethereum merge and then, you know, they don't have to uh, just, you know, go away and, and you know, uh, be done, right? Because then they've got something else to look forward to a week later with the, uh, the Vassal hard fork. So in advance of the hard fork, DApp projects, exchanges, and SPOs keep updating their systems to maintain compatibility. Now, the NFT marketplace Artano just published a blog post outlining its key development takeaways, and the results of Artano's Vassal testing indicate a cost reduction of up to 76 to 77 percent and a transaction size reduction up to 92 percent. This was obviously something that uh, Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson found very powerful. Uh, he refer uh, referred to the Artano post and hinted at the power of the incoming Vassal upgrade as that which could cause dApps to deploy. Basically, the whole idea here, okay, without getting too technical for the Vassal hard fork, it's going to be making it easier for developers to come in, and in this case, more cost efficient uh, for Artano's um, NFT marketplace. Now, IOG earlier stated um, that it would be tracking three critical indicators ahead of triggering the actual hard fork, which are 75% of mainnet blocks being created by the final release candidates, roughly 25 exchanges, which are being upgraded, representing 80% of the overall liquidity, and the top 10 decentralized applications by TVL, or total value locked, updated. 
Okay, so these are kind of the things that they're monitoring. So it just goes to show you there are a lot of things going on behind the scenes as you get ready for an upgrade like this, right? It's not just in-house. There's a lot of um, back and forth between, look at this, roughly 25 exchanges, right? So a lot happening behind the scenes here. Also, 50% of the top 12 exchanges by liquidity, uh, you know, the likes of Binance, Mexi, uh, Coinbase, and three other exchanges in the top 12 are currently updating their nodes. 10 other exchanges have indicated Vassal readiness, that they're all ready to go, while several others are in the process of updating their nodes now. So a lot happening. I mean, it's not just people in-house at Cardano. Look what Coinbase and Mexi and Binance have to do to get ready for this upgrade as well. So many people have positive expectations. We've been waiting for the Vassal for several months here. It has been delayed a few different times, uh, but to be expected, right? Cardano does not do anything uh, haphazardly. They, they do it 100%. So if it's not ready, they're not going to roll it out. That's how Charles has always kind of run Cardano from day one. But I'm excited about this one. In addition to the Ethereum merge, you know, Cardano might not be getting as much love as the Ethereum merge is, but uh, this is a project I'm heavily invested in, I'm heavily interested in, and I think it could be a big winner down the line. And this uh, Vassal Hard Fork is the largest upgrade they've ever had to their system. Again, allowing it very easy for developers to come on and build on top of Cardano. That's the easy takeaway here, right? Making it easy, uh, easier for them to do that. So that's what I've got for you here. Uh, make sure you like this video, share it with a friend, drop your comment down below, and um, check out all those links, as I mentioned earlier in the video. If you want to learn more about Clear Cryptos, all those links are provided there for you. And uh, I think you should. That's my opinion. Definitely get up to speed because uh, what they're building is unlike anything I've ever seen. So I uh, can't wait to share more on that front as well. Thank you so much for popping in. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.